Good afternoon and welcome to Workforce Wednesday webinars, a professional development series that helps diverse job seekers develop new skill sets that will enhance their careers and influence their personal and professional lives. And now our host, James McFarland. Good afternoon. My name is James McFarland. I'd like to welcome you to the Urban League of Lexington's Workforce Wednesday. Workforce Wednesday is a streaming program brought to you by our sponsors, Toyota Two Show and Truist Bank. And we'd like to thank them for being a part of this program. Before we get to today's guest, which is going to be awesome, Mink, I'd like to invite all of you all who are viewing this program to visit the Urban League social media pages to see what we have going on here at the league. Today's guests are going to be is Awesome Inc. and uh, Awesome Inc. They're located here in Lexington, and uh, representing Awesome Inc. We have Mackenzie Haynes, who is the career, uh, director of career development and Salesforce pro, uh, programming, and we also have Stephen Rue, who's the marketing director. How are you guys doing? Hey James, thanks for having us. Well, yeah, I tell you what, I'm a, why don't y'all tell us a little bit about what y'all have going on at, here at the league, and I'm gonna drop out and stop in from time to time to have a question for you all. Yeah, that's great. Thank you so much. And thank you for having us. We really appreciate it. We are really excited um, to, to join you all today and to be able to have this opportunity to share what's going on in downtown Lexington, because um, that's where we're located. So Awesome Inc. Uh, we are a Lexington-based tech company, and we have been uh, working with the community now for well over a decade. Um, so we're really excited to share what's been going on with us, and then also to tell you about a couple of different ways that you can get involved um, and how we can work together to build the future um, career that you would be interested in. So Stephen, can you tell a little bit more about Awesome Inc. and um, some of the programs we're going to talk about today? Sure. Yeah. So Lex. <laughs> Lexington. We're Lexington-based. Awesome Inc. is all about helping to improve Lexington's tech and startup communities. We want to help people find their way into entrepreneurship or into tech roles. So that was part of why we were created. And we like to say we were created to help people pursue their definition of awesome, whatever that might look like for your life. Uh, we want your life to be awesome. And we know a thing or two about tech and entrepreneurship. So that's how we're helping people pursue that. Uh, like I said, we've been here in Lexington since the start, and we've been helping people for over 10 years now to uh, start up small businesses, to grow in tech, to learn coding skills, which is primarily what I'm going to be talking about. And then more recently, we've added on a program about Salesforce, teaching people towards a Salesforce certification. And so that's a little bit of what McKenzie has been helping us do so that we can uh, help people find really great jobs here in Lexington. Yeah, so I think we're going to kick it off um, and talk a little bit um, about the Salesforce Career Accelerator. Um, so if you are listening to this um, or watching this at a later date, um, we are going to be dropping a couple of different really useful links um, in the chat for you. So definitely make sure that you check those out. Um, so the first one I want to tell you about is the Salesforce Career Accelerator. Um, so the first thing is, um, what is Salesforce and why are we talking about having a career accelerator around this program. Um, so Salesforce is a customer relationship management system, which pretty much means it is a very powerful piece of software that organizations from all different sizes, so we have really small nonprofits that purchase Salesforce and use that to huge companies like the University of Kentucky, the state of Kentucky, uh, Valvoline. These are all customers of this program called Salesforce. Now within this program, this Salesforce, I don't know, what do you want to call this accelerator, right? It's everything that you can use um, to manage your company and to keep track of your customers and stay in relationship with people um, that help your business grow. Um, there's all these different pieces and parts to this software. And at, for us as entrepreneurs and um, pretty much over the last decade, also educators, we saw that there was a huge gap in an understanding of how to use the Salesforce technology um, at, in the workforce. And so we had um, been become really great at teaching how to develop software and how to work in software. and 
Over the last couple of years, we had a ton of community partners that started coming to us and asking us, can you do something to teach us about Salesforce? We have this huge workforce of people that are now going to be working in this software, and they're not really sure how to do it. They're not sure how to use it to its best capabilities. And so through that, through those questions year after year, um, and seeing some of our favorite companies in the Lexington area onboard Salesforce, we saw more and more job openings. Um, So if you jump on LinkedIn right now, or you get on Indeed, you're gonna see there's a pretty good number of openings for Salesforce administrators. And for us as a company whose main mission is to help people pursue their definition of awesome, and we see one of the best ways to do that through a career in tech, that's kind of what really pushed us over the edge to say, okay, we do need to jump in this and we need to figure out a way to help fill that gap. So for you watching, um, there's a pretty good chance that you have interacted with the Salesforce technology at some point, whether you were an end user, um, whether you were communicated with by a company that was using Salesforce to reach out to you, most likely you have interacted with Salesforce in one way or another. And so a couple of years ago, we had a really great opportunity to partner with the city of Lexington um, to get a grant. Um, So the federal government was sharing some grant money uh, with the city, and we knew that we wanted to get involved some way so that we could help fill this workforce gap. And so we applied for that. Um, James, do you have a question? Yeah, I was muted. I apologize for that. Let me ask you this question. You said Salesforce could be used in a variety of different ways. Are you seeing any specific ways that the companies here locally are using Salesforce? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I think one of the ways that we're seeing it a lot is to stay in relationship with their customers. Um, So we're doing this on Facebook right now. So we know that Facebook is a really great way to connect with customers, but we also know that a lot of people get really annoyed at Facebook. Um, And so companies are looking for other ways to interact with their customers. with their customers. And so they are able to do some marketing through there. They're able to look and see historically how people have been interacting with their brand. So um, customers, repeat customers that keep coming back on a regular basis, Salesforce is the technology that a company is using to track that information. Or when a company is looking to um, maybe move into a new market, then they can look at the data that they've been collecting in Salesforce to determine where's the where are our customers, where is the customer base that we want to go spend some more time and energy on, what are they doing, what are they spending their money on, and they can do things like that. Not to get too technical, but so is um, the Salesforce allow you to import data from other applications into their program so that it's used that way. So if people have these things already on Excel spreadsheets, they're able to incorporate them into Salesforce. Oh, yeah. This is one of the number one ways that you can take data and tell stories with it. So having numbers and having information is really great, but having something that helps you make sense of it all, that's what Salesforce can do for you. So even in our organization, we have um, some different programs that are using Salesforce to send emails. Uh, We're using Salesforce to communicate back and forth. We're using it to track interactions with different um, community members or friends of the organization. Um, And so Salesforce is really accelerating our ability to tell a story of what the numbers are bringing in. So I could collect data all day and just have it in this Excel spreadsheet. And then I could look at the Excel spreadsheet and say, well, I don't know what to do with this. Um, Salesforce has a number of different reports and learning Salesforce and becoming an administrator in Salesforce teaches you how to make those reports that will tell the story that would make a difference. So you can actually take that data, all of those different Excel spreadsheets that you are importing in, information from your email system, you can bring all that information in, and then you can use Salesforce as an administrator to pull all of these different pieces of data together to tell the story that needs to be told so that you can make a difference for the company. So maybe the company needs to just make some really hard decisions on which products to keep and which products to do away with. Salesforce helps tell that story so that they can do that the way that they need to. Um, So they're not just relying on, I don't know, I feel like this might be a good idea. They can actually look at the data and look at the reports and see what really makes the difference. And so I think that's some of the things that uh, as as you're working in your business and you're thinking through how you've maybe touched Salesforce, um, maybe you're a Salesforce user, 
Um, this is some different things that you can do as an administrator that you can actually get in and you can reformulate some of these things and you can create those reports that are going to make a difference for you instead of just having to best guess it, which is kind of hard to do. So if I could um, quickly jump in. I yeah. wanted to add a little bit because you've explained a lot of how robust Salesforce is and what a powerful tool it is. And I think that's really helpful for the companies who are using it. But that speaks to the value that someone with uh, this certification can add because the companies want to be able to use that tool to the best of their abilities. And someone with this certification who's learned the ins and outs of how Salesforce works and how it can best be used adds a ton of value to a company like Valvoline or any of the others that you mentioned to be able to say, hey, I can most efficiently use this program for you. Um, so that's why all these big companies are looking for people who have this certification so that they can bring them on their team and um, just make it a little bit more efficient in the way that they're using it. So just wanted to, to add that. Yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly right. James oh. looks like you muted. Yeah, I should know how to do this by now. <laughs> <laughs> Talk a little bit about the certification and what's required to obtain that certification and who are some of the ideal candidates are to, to, you know, to go after that type of certification. Yeah, that's a great question. So the certification is called a Salesforce administrator. And that is kind of the, the baseline certification that Salesforce um, provides. And with that Salesforce administration cert certification, then you're going to be able to get in and do a lot of the setup and managing of Salesforce. Um, so the Salesforce Career Accelerator that we're doing, that is a training program. It's an accelerator. So it's quick. It's a 12 week long program that takes you from, I am logging into Salesforce to I'm ready to take my administrator's exam, which is a lot of information in a really quick amount of time, but the really good thing is that we're really, we're really good at teaching people how to learn things really quickly. And so that's why we knew that a 12 week long program was going to be appropriate. And so we have some great different uh, pieces of wraparound services that individuals can do um, and utilize while they're in the program. So we have this really great website called Trailhead. And that is where the majority of the information that you need to learn lives. But like any learning management system that you've ever seen, it is heavy and bulky and there's so many different options that it's overwhelming. So we take that next step and we provide you a roadmap to make sure that you can get to start from start to finish without having to worry about picking up a lot of different things along the way. And so that's one of the things that we thought was really important is to have that map to get to that final destination. And then throughout that time, we, we really like to have this cohort model because it's a lot easier to do things in community than alone. And so we wanna make sure that you know that you're supported by a team of people that are learning alongside you, as well as professionals who work in Salesforce day in and day out. And so we have a trainer who is available to give um, questions and answers, there's a bunch of live webinars that happen every single week that um, are recorded um, because this is really important. Um, we offer this program in a part-time format, which means we expect you to spend about 15 hours a week doing your lessons and doing your homework, but you do not have to do it at the same time every single day. So we like to call this asynchronous, that you have the information that you need, you have your assignments, and then you can work on getting them done what's best for you. Um, I know for me as a working professional, as I am trying to onboard a new technology, I need to have some flexibility in my life. And so that's why we designed the Salesforce Career Accelerator in this way. So you can jump on for a couple hours a night and work on your assignments. You can close yourself up on a, on a weekday or a weekend day and spend a whole lot of time just diving deep into this information. But the most important thing to know is that the Salesforce Career Accelerator was designed to be flexible um, because the, everyone who has gone through our program so far are working professionals, people who already have their nine to five day job, who have been working in industries like food service or um, education services or data entry, um, and so we want, um, and manufacturing. Um, and so we wanted to make sure that we were going to be able to provide a program that hits this workforce need in a way that was going to fit into the majority of people's lives. And so 
That's the important things to know there, James. It's 15 hours a week and it's asynchronous. So there's no set meeting time that you have to attend. Um, besides when we try and get together for um, our sessions to just study and learn together. And, and you just answered the question that I was going to have, because I, I know you've mentioned earlier that you would have you want several cohorts in, in a group, you know, in a class to attend. Oh. And I was wondering if there were any group sessions that they may, you know, that the courts may do together, but you just answer that. With, yeah, with we think it's really good to have everybody get together um, at least once a week to just, and, and we work together with the cohort to figure out what's the best time. So our May cohort, uh, what worked best for them was Saturday mornings at nine o'clock. So they could set their kids uh, in front of the TV for an hour and they can get those questions answered. And then they still have the rest of their day um, and the rest of their weekend to do all of those different things that they need to do um, to make sure that they continue to stay a part of their family's lives, get their work done um, in addition to continue to learn. So another really great thing that we have in Lexington is we have a Salesforce user group. And so people from across the community come in once a month. They come over to Awesome Inc., which is downtown on Main Street. Um, and we get together and we have the opportunity to learn from somebody um, and ask questions. So there's a number of people that are working on their certification right now. And so they're able to ask questions live together and like, okay, this is what I'm doing. And then we have some people that are working in it and they say, oh, listen to what happened to me at work this week. This is a really important thing. Um, so we want to make sure that um, people um, are able to come out to that and learn that. Let me ask you this question, Mackenzie, uh, and you, yeah. Stephen. Let's say someone is um, wanting to get this certification because they mm -hmm. want to improve their self in their, you know, in their business career. How can they tell if their company is using Salesforce? That's a great question. Um, one of the things that they can do is touch base with their, their sales team. So if there's somebody in the sales department or um, a marketing department, they would be able to mention um, if Salesforce is being used at their company. And so they'd be able to ask that question. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, and so one of the things that when, when we were bringing on and we decided, you know what, we're going to jump in and we're going to start training um, in Salesforce is that we started with the Work Lexington grant. And so this is a partnership with the city of Lexington to subsidize the training so that we can make the training accessible. Um, if you go on and you look for different pieces of training in Salesforce, they can be very, uh, very expensive. And so in our partnership with the city of Lexington, we are able to work together to get a grant so that we can get $2,500 off on the training, which has been really important because it's hard to set aside a bunch of money for a training program, but this was a way that we were able to do that um, and make it accessible to more Lexingtonians because we know that there are more and more Salesforce jobs being open in this area and there's not the workforce here to fill it. And so we want to make sure that we're working together to build the workforce that can improve in this area and can fill these very high wage jobs. So let me ask you this question, uh, mentioned in the... Um the grant and the money that's uh, allotted to help people with these certifications. Now, is this something that you mentioned to them or is this something they have to research before they ask for the certifications or while they're meeting with also Mink, is this something that you bring to their attention so that they'll know that that money is available? Oh yeah, definitely. We have it all over our website. So we're going to be sharing the link um, to our Salesforce um, site, landing site, and you can see all the information about the scholarship is there. Uh, what's most important to us is that you live in the Fayette County area, um, and we have a little bit of information for you to fill out so that we can make sure that you qualify for the grant, but most Lexingtonians do qualify for the grant. Um, and so that's something that's really excited for us. Um, so uh, why go through the Salesforce? We talked about how you can be a benefit to your employers. Mentioned briefly about the income opportunities. Um, so from Salesforce's main page, looking at their employment data, the things I want you to know are that um, the median base salary in the U.S. is $86,000 for Salesforce administrators. So that's a really great place to be. Um, there were over 12,000 jobs, new jobs created in Salesforce in 2021, and there's been 148% job growth in the past five years. And so that was, that was enough for us to know that this was something that we needed to help step into and help fill this workforce gap. And so we really are exciting, um, excited about this partnership with the city of Lexington, about these scholarship opportunities, and we would love um, to talk to anyone who is interested in 
upskilling, uh, changing their career path, moving into an area where they are moving from maybe working with data to manipulating the data to find the ways to make a difference for a company. So if any of those things are interesting to you, um, those are the, those are the things that we're really looking for, for people who are going to be joining this program and in uh, and, and a knowledge of general business information. And that could just be, Hey, you know, I'm a consumer and I have an idea of what that is. Um, and then just a little bit of computer knowledge of, I know how to use a browser. I know some of the different things that are on my computer and we'll walk you through all of those different pieces and make sure that before you join the program, that you're going to be set up for success. What that's one of the most important things to us is that if you're going to be signing on and working with us, our goal is for you to be awesome. And so we want to make sure that you're set up for success from the very beginning of that. So I want to see, is there any other questions that I can answer about the Salesforce Career Accelerator? No, I think that answered the questions that I had uh, concerning Salesforce. So if someone's working with the organization and they're not sure if their company is using Salesforce, you said they can touch base with someone in marketing and or sales, and they'll right. probably be able to yes. determine what type of uh, software they're using for that particular company. And then if they see that they're using Salesforce and they want to, and some individual wants to upscale so that they can be able to utilize that Salesforce certification, then they just need to contact you all at Awesome Inc., you know, and then once they contact you all at Awesome Inc., you'll tell them about the things that are available to assist them in getting yeah. that certification. And that runs about, that certification runs about 12 weeks. Correct. Yes. Yep. Runs 12 weeks. Um, and we cover the cost of um, the paying for the exam at the end as well. And so that's something that normally is a cost that you have to add on as you're thinking about getting ready. Uh, but that's something that we are able to get covered in the cost of the grant. So that's going to be something really helpful. Well, great. That's great information about Salesforce. Is there anything else happening at Elsa Mink that you would like uh, our audience to know about? Yes, absolutely. So, Or some of the success stories for people who came to you all's location, took in some of the things that you all had to offer and prospered after that. Yeah, we've got a lot of great success stories and some employee partnerships for that Salesforce. So we've actually had companies who have come to us and said, hey, if you can train people to do this, we will be able to give them work, uh, whether that's full-time or part-time, uh, up to them, each individual. And so that's another nice part of the Salesforce jobs is that you could maybe keep your current job, but add this on as an additional revenue stream, just working a little bit. Uh, because a lot of companies, like Mackenzie mentioned, Tons of companies use Salesforce and they maybe don't want to hire somebody full time, but they want to hire somebody who like as a freelancer who can help them. Um, and so there's a lot of opportunities there as well if you wanted to work part time and, and get jobs there. So um, that's one of the great things that we've seen. Sorry, go Real on. Real quick, James. Stephen. Um, a lot of the people I come across are looking to do um, at home, stay at home type work. Yeah. So this would be a great tool for them to do stay at home type of work. Uh, Absolutely. Okay, yeah. great. These are almost all remote jobs. Yeah. And one of the other things that I wanted to talk about while we're on this call and have a few minutes, um, in addition to the Salesforce program that Awesome Make is doing, we also have our web developer bootcamp. And so that's sort of been our flagship program for the past few years. We started this in 2016. And in that time, we've taught over 160 adults how to code. And so what that looks like is web development, software development, building websites, building applications, things like that. Um, and this program is a full-time program that'll feel more like on the job training while you're doing it. You're gonna be here with us in our location downtown. We also do have a remote option for people around Kentucky. And the goal of that class is to help you learn to code, help you get a tech job. So we, and Mackenzie specifically, helps with a ton of job preparation and connecting to employers, interview skills, updating resume, all of those things that you need. And we not just teach you how to code, but we also emphasize learning how to learn so that as you go on and continue outside of our program, you can continue to grow your career. So that's one of our best programs. Uh, we are really excited and proud of how that's been performing. And we've got tons of great alumni stories of people who have gone through this program from manufacturing jobs, from a barista, from a teacher, from um, artists, musicians, every job that you could probably think of. We've had somebody who's gone from that and wanted to transition into tech. And so that's been uh, a way that we've been able to help people get into that tech ecosystem as well. Let me ask you this question. Early on, you all talked about um, 
helping people become entrepreneurs in the tech industry. Could you talk a little bit about how you help them with that entrepreneurship? Sure. So Awesome Inc. has a program that is called the Awesome Inc. Fellowship. And the way that that fellowship program works is a, a burgeoning startup could reach out to us and apply to be a part of it. And this is a nonprofit program. So it's completely free for them and they can join. There's eight companies per year that are able to go through that fellowship and they receive help from our team um, in ways that maybe a startup couldn't afford to hire on a designer or a developer of their own or different roles like that, videography, things like that. So we provide those services to them as they go through our program. We also give them mentorship and connections to entrepreneurs in Kentucky to, who can help give them advice and just help them to grow to that next stage. So that fellowship program is a huge way that we are helping entrepreneurs around Kentucky. Uh, and we've been doing that for even longer than the boot camp, I believe. So um, a really great way for us to try and help to infuse new startups into the already great Lexington entrepreneurship uh, community. Yeah, we've also had um, quite a few of our boot camp graduates that have transitioned um, going through the boot camp program, spending that time with us, learning how to learn, and then they transition to becoming entrepreneurs as well. Um, and so that's been really fun to watch and see as individuals are coming in and learning with us, getting their first job. Most of them go and have, you know, their first job as a developer. And then as they are continuing to grow their skills, they're able to transition into either solopreneurs uh, where they are just freelancing or they have multiple different 1099s or W-2 jobs. Um, and they're really able to craft and create a schedule and a workflow that is really successful for them. And then we've had a few that have moved on to create some pretty great businesses um, in the food service industry and in 3D printing um, and found some ways to even start up their own companies for development. And so they are becoming um, the head of development studios and they're hiring other graduates who are coming in with them um, and building um, extra communities where they are able to do the work of programmers, developers, coders, um, and, and build a, a career and a business that supports them and their choices in their lifestyle, which has been yeah. pretty fun. If you think about it, every company now has to be a tech company in some way, whether they're, you know, in you know, any industry, they're going to have to have a website. They're going to have to have some form of technology that helps them in their business. And so, Every company needs developers and, and coders. So, yeah, I think that's something that's been really important to see over the last little bit is as we might see some media headlines about all these different tech layoffs. What we're also seeing is that there are more jobs in tech now than there were before, because just what you said, Stephen, every company has to be tech. And so if you think about those top industries in central Kentucky, you probably don't think about us as a tech hub. But if you think about um, all the work that we do in manufacturing and healthcare those all have huge teams of people that are managing their technology needs. Um, and they have individuals that are coming from our boot camp that are going out and working at UK healthcare and at different manufacturing facilities like big ass fans, for instance, has had um, some of our boot camp grads go and work with them. Um, and so we're really seeing that you don't have to necessarily go work for a tech company because every company is a tech company now. Well, let me ask you this last question. Um, the Urban League, we work a lot with the youth out there. Mm -hmm. And for those youth who are uh, really not sure about what they want to do or, you know, if they really want to pursue a career in tech industry, do you all have something that you all do working with youth that can touch bases with them, that introduces them to what the tech in industry is all about? Yeah, absolutely. So we have what we call a coding club, which is for youth. It's an after school type program that goes on throughout the school year, two, day, two days a week. And they can come to us and learn coding skills and build fun projects and work on things that are interesting to them, but then will ultimately help to lead them into a technical path later in the future. Um, so we've had regularly really amazing kids that are blowing my minds with the things that they're building. Um, like eight, nine, 10 year olds even. So um, we love to work with kids in that way. And then during the summers, we do our summer camp called the week of code. And so we've got one of those starting on Monday actually, and another one the, the week after that. 
So June 12th and June 19th. And we have scholarships available for those as well from some of our partners with Verizon and Toyota who really want to invest in the growing tech um, youth. So if somebody's interested in that, they can check out our website as well and apply for a scholarship uh, to make that a little bit more accessible for students to come and learn with us. And so we love working with kids. We love now we've been doing it for long enough. We've seen some who were children who are now adults and are coming back to us and saying, hey, here's where I'm working or here's the things I'm doing as a developer, which is really exciting uh, for us to be able to watch. Yeah, there's no greater advertisement than those who have come through your program succeeded. And then, of course, they pass that word on to others so yeah. that they can become a part of that. Absolutely. Well, I'll tell you what, I like to thank both of you all for being a guest on today's Workforce Wednesday. Also me uh, as a company, uh, you, Mackenzie, and you, Stephen, as representatives of that company, telling about the different things that you all have out there in the tech industry. And if anybody wants to find out more, they can visit you all's website, which appeared in the chat several times and the different things that you all have going there. So um, with that, I'd like to thank you all for being a part of the program. I hope to speak with you all in the future as things progress with Awesome Inc. so we can hopefully get a lot of our listeners enrolled in your program so that they can help upscale to the career that they're looking for. We'd love it. All right. Thanks so much. It sounds good. And with that, we're going to end this edition of uh, Workforce Wednesday, and we look to talk to you in, uh, in two more weeks. Thanks a lot for being a guest, and we'll see you again. Bye-bye. Thanks, James. Bye-bye.